What is good guys? Today we're inside of Pixlr and we're gonna uh, edit an image to make it look like our subject has a robot face. So I'm opening up this image in the original size in Pixlr and looking at it, we've got a lovely, lovely pose by a very handsome man here. And what we're gonna do is use the polygonal lasso to select only his face including his ear and glasses. So our method is to make it look like the face is a removable plate on the front of him. So there we go. We have it separated on its own layer. We cut it out of the background. Now we're gonna select our uh, robot head face to go behind in the background of what we have existing here. So we're gonna paste it, then shift the layers so this face is partially hidden by the original face and head. We're going to do a free distortion here to stretch it, <clears throat> make it fill in that space a little bit better, and then apply that size change. Now with a, a brush tool, we're going to paint around the edge of where the original face was to cover some of what's there. Um, as far as a, a, a gap between the background and the robot face. And up here we're going to clone some color uh, and the gray silvery um, vent pipe that's there. And this uh, refrigerator we're going to clone a little bit to make it look like the face really belongs. So we turn on our uh, sampled face and what we want to do is fix it a little bit that's the, the top of the microphone so we we cloned some uh, skin from there and now we're just cleaning up the edge around so it doesn't exactly fit on the face anymore but we want it to look you know more uh, cool and experimental than than uh, looking necessarily 100% accurate so here we are selecting the hand. Now the reason we're doing that is because I probably want to put the face in his hand. So we're copying, pasting, and moving that copy back over the placement of the original hand. And now we're going to move the face into position so it looks like it could be kind of being held by between the fingers of the hand there. Now we kind of have this problem, we were rotating it to try to make it look good. Now we kind of have this problem of the original image being of the man holding a microphone. Um, sometimes in a photo that you use, you may want to eliminate part of the original photo. Now the, the microphone doesn't really have any purpose for us, so we are going to clone parts of the gentleman's pink shirt uh, to cover that microphone. And because it's wrinkled fabric, uh, it, it really kind of lends itself to this kind of cloning. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. And we also cloned away part of the microphone that was on the background wall uh, and the table and floor on the bottom there. Now this image looks cool. It has one more thing going on in it that we're going to tackle, and that is the hapless, <laughs> un unexpecting gentleman in the background that's right, we're going to give him a robot head too. So we're going to just shrink it down to tiny nothingness, rotate it ever so slightly to make it fit, and then just use an eraser to expose his hat. So it is a very simple edit, but and now we're just uh, free distorting, but it does kind of give it the whole picture kind of a nice tied together look. Like if you look, it's a little bit of an Easter egg in the background. So that's a little uh, experimental project, some creation of a surrealistic robot face uh, with the regular face revealed, and I look forward to seeing what you guys make. Thanks for watching.